This week's Ask Dr. Dury asks a very important uh, question. Uh, a patient with MGUS wants to know if she is at increased risk related to the COVID-19 uh, infection. The simple answer that we now know uh, is most likely n known uh, that there's not an increased risk. But let me just uh, summarize. So MGUS, monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, this is the earliest of the uh, diseases related to the development of a monoclonal protein and, and a plasma cell disease. Uh, and so uh, very, very early, no symptoms, very, very low levels of protein in the blood and low levels of plasma cells uh, in the bone marrow. Uh, but there has been a concern that uh, such a patient might have this immune compromise uh, situation. And so recently, it was extremely important to see data coming out of the large study in Iceland. Uh, the IMF supports a large uh, program there called ISTOP-MM, Iceland Screens, Treats, or Prevents Multiple Myeloma. And they have screened over 80,000 individuals in Iceland and identified over 3,000 uh, individuals who actually had unknown MGUS. During this pandemic, the doctors in Iceland were able to assess, okay, those 3,000 new individuals with MGUS, did they have more problems uh, with COVID versus the general population? And the very good news is that there was no increased risk of developing COVID-19 among the MGUS individuals versus the general population. And so it was exactly identical. Also, there were a few people who uh, had MGUS and did get COVID, well, just as there were in the, in the general population. And so the outcomes were, were the same, mostly very, very good. And so without any indication of any predisposition to uh, any sort of high risk or uh, poorer outcome. And we have data from other centers around the world that would corroborate this type of uh, finding. And so the bottom line is, Good news, MGUS uh, does not have that immune compromise that we see in the later stages of smoldering myeloma and active myeloma, and so there's not an increased risk, but like everybody else, MGUS patients should take those normal precautions, uh, get fully vaccinated, get a booster, uh, and also continue with, with masks and other precautions uh, as needed.